Uh, with that, uh, I now recognize the uh, ranking member, Mr. Green, from Texas, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I thank the witnesses for appearing as well. And Mr. Chairman, this morning I attended a meeting uh, of blacks and Jews talking about the relationship between blacks and Jews. And a rabbi who spoke at the meeting, whose name I shall not call because I don't have his permission, but I do know that I can say that he shared this brief vignette. He told the story of a man who went shopping to purchase a Picasso. And after purchasing the Picasso to authenticate it, he took it to Picasso himself and said, is this a Picasso? And Picasso said, no, that's not a Picasso. So he went shopping again, looking for a Picasso, received another painting, brought it back and said, is this a Picasso to Picasso himself? Picasso said, no, that's not a Picasso. He said, but wait, I bought this from your shop. I saw you paint this picture. And Picasso responded, I often paint fake Picassos. Mr. Chairman, we've got to be careful that we're not painting a fake Picasso. Painting a fake Picasso by displaying slides of quotes that have not been authenticated, no cross-examination of witnesses, little due process afforded. We've got to be careful that we don't paint a false Picasso. This is the Financial Services Committee, formerly the Banking Committee, until about 1968. And we have not had one hearing on serious invidious discrimination in banks, in mortgage lending. We have had hearings to look at individual complaints of discrimination at the CFPB. And by the way, I don't oppose looking at individual complaints at the CFPB. But I do believe that if we can do this, we can look at the serious, invidious discrimination that's taking place across the length and breadth of this country against millions of people, and we ignore it. We're painting a false Picasso, Mr. Chairman. So let me just provide some evidence. We've used the American banker as evidence. I want to use Bloomberg. We've used the American banker to look at statistical information. I want to use Bloomberg. We've used the American banker to have what I will call probable cause for this hearing. I want to use Bloomberg. Here's what Bloomberg says about some serious discrimination. Bank discrimination and its debilitating effect on minority entrepreneurs. For a recent mystery shopper experiment, three business school professors recruited black, white, and Hispanic entrepreneurs across the U.S., dressed them in matching polo shirts and khakis, and sent them into banks to ask about small business loans. The results are disheartening, if not a big surprise. White business owners got better and more encouraging service, according to a new paper describing the study in the Journal of Consumer Research. Bank employees were more likely to tell them about loan terms and fees and more likely to offer help filling out applications. Bankers were more likely to ask minority entrepreneurs about their personal finances and less likely to offer the black and Hispanic mystery shoppers a business card. It's not news that black and Hispanic small business owners have a harder time finding financing than white businessmen. But the JCR paper offers insight into how entrepreneurs experience the process of seeking new capital. In one part of their research, authors Glenn Christensen, Sterling Boone, and Jerome Williams ask business owners to collect photos that best describe the experience of applying for a loan. Minority entrepreneurs chose images including a dry faucet, a beggar, and a set of handcuffs. White business owners focus less on the hard road and more on the satisfying result, selecting photos of a water slide and a beautiful beachfront idol. Interviews with researchers 
Both groups described the, loans the loan application process as a journey, but minority consumers framed the journey as uphill, while white consumers consistently framed their journeys as on level ground. White entrepreneurs sought lenders who would serve as a partner or a friend, according to the paper, while minority business owners reported hiring white employees. Something's bear repeating. Minority business owners reported hiring white employees for the purpose of attending meetings with bankers. The result, the authors write, is a cumulative, debilitating effect on the psychological and physical well-being. These are anecdotal findings, but they are supported by quantitative research. In 2012, Federal Reserve data revealed that minority business owners were paying interest rates that were 32 percent higher than what whites paid. Last year, research from the Kauffman Foundation showed that minority entrepreneurs were more likely to be turned down for loans and less likely to apply for fear of rejection. Let's not paint a false Picasso. Let's look into what's really going on in the banks. I yield back and I thank you for the extra time. <laughs>